Hey everybody, it's Brooke here from Anita Good Design and I am really excited to show you guys how to construct your teapot cozies. We're gonna go ahead and show you our materials list to get started. You will need your scissors, binding, pocket panel, pins, bobbin, thread, and your four panels. To begin, we are going to take our front and back panels and piece them together. Now you are going to need four panels, so we are going to start with the front. Now that we have our two panels in front of us, we are going to place them on top of each other, right sides together. Now that we have right sides together, you will pin your items in place. Now that we have our panels pinned in place, we are going to go ahead and stitch down the middle of our panel. And now that we have finished stitching our first panel, you're going to want to take your panel to the ironing board and butterfly your seams. Now, now that we have our front panel finished, I went ahead and already stitched together our back panel. It's important to note that for this collection, you will have three hoopings, but you're going to need a total of four panels. So now that we have our front panel complete, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to place your pocket on your front panel. Now here's a look at our front panel, now that it is all pressed and ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and place our pocket, lining up our pocket with the center fold of the panel. Once you have your pocket in place, you can go ahead and pin it. And now that our panel is pinned in place, we are going to go ahead and stitch on all three sides, making sure that we leave the top side open. Now what you're going to do is you're going to stitch along the inside of your satin stitch and use the bottom of your panel as seam allowance. Once you have your panel fully secured, your design will look something like this. And now that we have our front panel fully complete, it's time to take our back panel, place it on top of our front panel, and stitch. You're going to want to line up the top seam allowance with the back seam allowance. And pin in place. Once you have pinned around your entire design, it's time to head back to the sewing machine. And now that we have finished stitching both of our panels together, I do want to point out that we are only stitching around the edge of our panel. You are going to leave the bottom edge open. Now as a little tip and trick when sewing your teapot cozy, we recommend using a monofilament thread. That way you hide all of your stitches and you don't have to worry about the bobbin or the top matching any of your fabric. So now that we have finished stitching our panel together, we're going to go ahead and flip our design right side out. And now that we have our design turned right side out, it's time to add our binding. Now you can make your binding on your own or you can purchase it from the store. Today we are using the same fabric as our panel. So we're gonna go ahead and attach our binding. So you're going to want to lay your binding facing right sides to your fabric. And go ahead and pin your binding in place as far as you need using your seam allowance as a guide. I'm only going to pin the front of my panel as I should be able to guide my binding as I head over to the sewing machine. Now we are going to head over and stitch our design in place. Use your seam allowance as a guide when stitching. So 
So now that we have finished stitching the edge of our bias tape to our design, I do want to note that we overlap our bias tape when stitching by at least an inch or two. So I just wanted to point that out here. Now we're going to take our scissors and we are going to trim We are just gonna shorten our bias tape a little bit. We don't need all of this excess material. And now that we have finished trimming our binding, we are going to double fold, pin in place, and top stitch. All right, and now that we have finished top stitching our binding, we are all complete. And now here is our little teapot cozy. This project is super easy and fun. I had a lot of fun making this. Picking out the fabrics for it was super easy as well. You can use pretty much any fabric that you desire, but I prefer to use a cotton as it's more durable and structured. Um, you can pick any color that you'd like as well. I decided to go with a nice winter feel with a nice cute little red bird over here, but we also have another one and you can see that it's a little bit different, although it kind of looks the same. Um, we decided to use a different color binding, which you also have that opportunity to use. And we used different shades of thread for our bird. And for this one, you can kind of tell that we went a little bit darker um, and this one was a little bit lighter. Now this project is super easy and quick to make. We would love to see what you guys come up with. So make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and tag us in your artwork, whether that is on Instagram or Facebook. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Thanks for tuning in.